the issue that I found as a strength and conditioning coach is consistently it's a loading problem. So like most of what we do is loading. If somebody thinks that a deadlift is bad for them or a full range deadlift or whatever is bad for them, well, what does that mean? If I put a 20 kilo barbell in your hand, are you going to be able to hinge at the hips and deadlift it? Well, the answer is yes. The next answer would be, well, in four weeks, it's likely that I could get you to do 100 pounds. And then in, in eight weeks, it's likely that I could get you to do X amount of pounds. And so when the way that I see loading and heavy load and load is that it's all subjective to the person's training. So it's really hard to then say, hey, you know, ass to grass squats are bad for you at heavy loads because heavy loads is not a direct line. Um, but th- there's one part, Joel, that I think that that I, I mainly kind of disagree with you in is that kind of using specificity as this idea that you can continuously defend your point using specificity because it's really hard to know then at what line we should do things in the weight room because the weight room isn't specific. If we wanted to be specific with basketball players, we'd have them shoot weighted basketballs. You know, we attach bands to their hips and have them jump around, which people do. Uh, but the reason why we have people in the weight room is to get general physical preparedness. And so if we look at general physical preparedness, well, it's not specific to the game. It's not. And and then you as a coach have to determine where and when you implement non-specific things to specific training. So to say that astrograss squatting is never viable ever, well, then what comes with that is a lot of other things are not viable or, or they have to be or they should be. It's what happens is, Joel, is like you kind of lay out this line and then now we can ask questions and determine all of the things underneath that line. Like, hey, is this wrong? Is this wrong? Is this wrong? And you go, well, maybe not, maybe not. And my thing is, if you never put the line there, there will never be the issue. And that's where like continuously in your verbiage, in in your posts, we see the line being drawn. Um, and that's 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 ultimately my issue with um, the content that you've posted uh, over the years is, is that, that kind of statement where it's like right here is the line. And then we can kind of poke and prod and be like, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? Whereas from someone like myself, I like to treat training as a spectrum, whether, you know, I've prepared guys for fights where we do quarter squats, uh, like only we don't do deep squats. Uh, but you know, 12 weeks away, 16 weeks away, we do deep squats. I've done it. It's, it's all dependent. It all moves around. <laughs>